Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to be easily and quickly memorizing the steps of serotonin synthesis. And the foundation of us being able to memorize this so easily will be that serotonin is also called 5-HT. And if you didn't know that, you probably still have heard like 5-HT2A or 5-HT1A receptors. And it's called 5-HT because the chemical is 5-hydroxytryptamine. And just a quick reminder that serotonin is a monoamine neurotransmitter, as is dopamine and norepinephrine. And in case you've never actually thought about what that means, it's just because they have a single amino group, so one amine neurotransmitter. And a quick tangent, the reason why dopamine and norepinephrine are catecholamines are because they contain a catechol, which is just the benzene ring and the, the two OHs. But the thing I want you to take away from this is that monoamines are derivatives of amino acids. So that just means that amino acids are converted to monoamine neurotransmitters. And a quick reminder, amino acids are just organic compounds that contain both a carboxyl group and an amino group. Looking at the monoamine neurotransmitters, we can see that they all contain the amino group from the amino acid, but none of them contain the carboxyl group. So we know that somehow turning it from an amino acid to a monoamine neurotransmitter, somehow the carboxyl group is going to have to get removed. And the name monoamine is referring to the fact that it contains one amine group, but it kind of helps me to remember that there's just the amino group and not the carboxyl group. So we know we're going to have to decarboxylate some amino acid to make it. So serotonin is derived from the amino acid tryptophan. And the way you're going to remember that is through a love story. So there's a chemist named Alexander Shulgin who's actually responsible for pretty much introducing MDMA to psychologists in the 70s. So this guy, Alexander Shulgin, would synthesize different hallucinogens. And then him and his wife, Anne Shulgin, would try them out together. And he wrote the books P-Call and T-Call. And those were acronyms for phenylethylalamines I have known and loved. And then T-Call is tryptamines I have known and loved. So you may be wondering why I'm going on this giant tangent, aside from the fact that I'm a romantic who can't help but tell a good love story. The reason I tell it is because serotonin is chemically incredibly similar to basically a ton of hallucinogenic drugs. So here we can see serotonin is incredibly similar to psilocybin, which is mushrooms. It's similar to LSD and DMT and 5-methoxy-DMT. And it's believed one of the main mechanism of actions of these hallucinogenic drugs is that they are 5-HT2A agonists. So this is all to say that serotonin is chemically very similar to drugs that make you trip so I hope from now on you'll never forget that serotonin is derived from tryptophan because drugs that are like serotonin make you trip tryptophan. You got it. Okay, but now let's talk about how serotonin is synthesized from tryptophan. So tryptophan is converted to 5-hydroxy tryptophan and that occurs through the enzyme tryptophan hydroxylase and the cofactor is tetrahydrobioterin. And then 5-hydroxytryptophan is converted to 5-hydroxytryptamine, or serotonin. And that occurs through the aromatic amino acid decarboxylase, and vitamin B6 is the cofactor. So I'm going to help you memorize this forever, hopefully, maybe. So as I said, the way to memorize this is through remembering that serotonin is also called 5-HT. So this simple little three-letter abbreviation is going to help us remember how it's synthesized. So the H T part of 5-HT is going to help us memorize the enzymes involved. So we're going to use the H to memorize that the first step is hydroxylase. And then we're going to remember the T to remember taking off the carboxylase, which we talked about earlier, because we know that monoamines are amino acids with the carboxylase taken off. So to recap, we go from tryptophan to 5-hydroxytryptophan, and that occurs through the H, which is the first part. So we, that occurs with the enzyme tryptophan hydroxylase. Then the second step is the T, and this T stands for taking off the carboxylase, which we know needs to occur for a monoamine. So the T stands for taking off carboxylase, and the enzyme is aromatic amino acid decarboxylase. Okay, now how are we going to remember the cofactors involved in serotonin synthesis? Well, we know the H, we know what the T, now we need to figure out what the 5 is for. So when you see the 5, which is going to be representative of the cofactors, you're going to be thinking 4, 5, 6, okay? So the 4 comes first, and the 4 is for tetra. Tetra, 4, 4, tetra. So 4 is short for tetrahydrobioterin. The 6 is the cofactor for the second enzyme, okay? So the 6 is for vitamin B6. So this little mnemonic might seem totally far out there, but I promise it will help you. So what I want you to remember from this video is that serotonin is derived from tryptophan. And you're going to memorize that because serotonin is so similar to all the drugs that make you trip. And then you're going to remember that somehow we have to turn tryptophan to 5-hydroxytryptamine. So we know we need the first step to be a hydroxylation. 
So that's going to occur through the tryptophan hydroxylase. And then the second part is taking off the carboxylase, which we know needs to occur because it's a monoamine, and monoamine only have amines. They don't have the carboxyl group. And then the T is going to be for taking off the carboxylase, so the enzyme is going to be aromatic amino acid decarboxylase. Then for the cofactors, we remember from 5-HT, 4, 5, 6. So the 4 is for the tetrahydrobioturin, and the 6 is for the vitamin B6. I know this kind of sounds far out there, but I promise it'll help you remember it moving forward, okay? All right, later.